Could it be true? Is it impossible to break the curse? Are we all stuck in this trap forever? Maybe. Hi, my name is Zagna and welcome to the diner. Are you hungry? Somewhere out there is the beast and he hungry tonight. Once upon a time, commentary channels covered everything. Funny, bad, sad, strange things. I mean, a lot of strange things. It's what made YouTube different than the news. You can cover any topic and say whatever you want. Well, maybe not these days. We had the birth of so many channels. Leafy is here, Sneeko, Drama Alerts, Diesel Patches, I'm Alex Cyrus, Ray William Johnson, Sunny V2. And while all of these are technically commentary channels, they are not the same. There has been a huge shift over the past decade. A big reason why? A lot of people have transitioned their hobby of YouTube into a career and with that you'll want to make as much money as possible for the work you put in which means the focus isn't on what you want to make it's what people want to see sometimes you can do both and the world loves negativity the world loves drama and maybe that doesn't include you maybe you're different maybe you're a special peaceful soul but we know what's gonna get a click we know what's gonna get a view and those things aren't always pretty let's just kill him with kindness and put it to bed so what's the solution to the problem? Easy, right? Just post more positive things. But there's just one little problem. I don't think that works for commentary channels. Yes, there's plenty of people giving away money, helping the homeless, helping the earth, and that is a 100% positive impact on the world. But that doesn't do much for the commentary community, or at least for the people I'm watching. It's always a case of the crumbs versus an entire dozen of cookies. And I know sometimes there's not much to go into when it comes to good news. And a lot of the time, headlines tell you everything you need to know. There's no story to dig up especially if the info is limited but whenever something good happens it's covered for 30 seconds in a video if you're lucky you'll get an entire minute and the rest of the video is nothing but negative news so maybe they're being fair by covering the good and the bad but when 30 seconds is outshined easily by 30 minutes how much good are you really doing it is for your but what if we use the negativity as bait? What if it's the only way we can get people to learn? The perfect example of this is Kevin Samuels. Yes, there's some bad that comes with it. But if you can make a title that upsets people and that baits them in and they click it and they leave that video learning a lesson and fixing their bad behavior and their bad way of thinking, congratulations, you win. They fell into your trap. Be honest, which title would you rather click on? A, you're doing great, but here's how you can do better. Or B, five reasons why you're lazy. If you said A, you're a liar and you know it. The thing is, both of these would be the exact same same video but the packaging is everything you can't teach someone that doesn't show up but once they're in the door then you can do your job and if option b is the only way to do that then that's the game people have to play it's not that they want to play that game it's that they have to play that game days are growing dark some point the trap will no longer be just for the audience it's for you you fall into your own trap view after view revenue after revenue and you become an addict you start searching for anything negative to cover you become numb to good news you don't care about success stories you want to see every crash and burn violence and anything that's going to keep the monster fed and now that this is your job you spend most of your days researching bad thing after bad thing but it's okay because it's just for work when a video is over and it's uploaded you can be positive right and that's when the bear trap releases you but you're so used to the pain, you lock yourself right back in. But you're not hurting one leg anymore, you're hurting two. This leaks into your everyday life. The job doesn't end when you upload a video. You're drowning in negativity 24-7. The goal was to set a trap and to help the world, but the trap is a double-edged sword. You may have helped the world, but what have you done to yourself in the process? You thought it would be an easy way to turn your love for giving your opinion into a career. You thought you were different, that the curse didn't apply to you. But the commentary channel curse is unbreakable. But if you're lucky enough to leave this thing in the past or take a different route, the damage has already been done. You either leave this community hating everything or not caring at all because you've spent so much time hating anything and everything, there's nothing left to hate. But if you can retire from this whole thing happy or even better, keep yourself happy during the whole journey, you didn't break the curse, it just skipped over you. It will find someone else and the cycle will continue. But what's worse is I may be talking about commentary channels here, but if you look around and you scroll roll long enough on the internet, you'll realize it's a virus that's affecting everyone, and there's a high chance that at some point, you'll be infected too. And I'll leave you with this. When you spend so long trapped in darkness, you find that the darkness begins to stare back. Lasagna has been served. Good night, everyone. But if I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really into making this type of content anymore. What do I even talk about anymore? In terms of bad YouTubers, I pretty much covered everyone I wanted to talk about. Currently, I'm done with school. I have a job. Making them big boy bucks while not having to be a mean old bully. For now, I'm moving on in life, just like Morgs and his hot ass fucking mom.